This video explains how to import your inventory information into Charms. The Charms Inventory Import Wizard guides you through the process of importing inventory information into Charms. The process involves several different procedures which we'll cover in this video. First, you'll need to make sure that you have your inventory categories set up in Charms. Next, you'll need to download the Charms Inventory Template. This file is a spreadsheet to help you put your inventory information in the right order. You must use this file for the import. Once you have downloaded the template, you'll work with that file in Excel to prepare your information. When the information is ready to import, you'll return to the Import Inventory File Wizard screen in Charms. There you will upload the Excel file, review the data, and finalize the import. Now that you understand the process, let's look at each procedure. If you haven't already done so, you need to set up your inventory categories in Charms. To get to the Inventory Setup screen, first click on the Inventory icon at the top of the screen. Select the Setup black tab. Simply enter the category name and select Create Category. Repeat until you have entered the categories required for your inventory. The list at the bottom shows the categories you have entered so far. You can click on the pencil icon to edit the category or the red X to delete it. Deleting a category is only possible if there is nothing entered into this category and if category deletions have not been locked out by a district administrator. Next, you'll need to go to the Import Inventory File Wizard screen to download the template file. To get to the Import Inventory File Wizard screen, select the Import Export black tab. Select Import Wizard from the list. Click on the Download Template button to save the Charms template to your computer. Your browser will ask whether you want to open or save the file. You should save the file before opening it. Make sure that you don't change the name of the file when you save it. Let's take a quick look at that Excel file. The file consists only of column headers at the top for all of the information that Charms stores for your inventory items. The text in red indicates the columns that are required information for your import. The other columns are optional. The numbers indicate the maximum number of characters allowed for that field, or the data type and format required. You'll need to get your inventory information into this file. An easy way to do this is to view both your inventory file and the Charms inventory template file side by side. You can size each file to take half of your screen like this example. Copy your information into the Charms template one column at a time to get the information in the right order. Make sure that you don't paste the information over the column header in the Charms Inventory template file. Remember that the red columns are required information before you can import the inventory information into Charms. If your file does not include that information, you'll need to enter it now. Note that the category column is case sensitive. The categories should match those that you set up in Charms. In this example, the ID number in the original file is actually the serial number, so we've copied it to the serial number column instead. We suggest that you create an ID numbering system that is based on the specific number of instruments in a category description. To create cleaner reports, use leading zeros so that all items have the same number of characters for their ID. Make sure you don't duplicate ID numbers, either in this spreadsheet while importing inventory or in the charm system itself. Here are some tips for the information in the optional columns. If you are importing this information, make sure it's in the right format so that there are no errors with the import. To have Charms assign barcodes to your inventory items, leave the barcodes column blank. If your inventory has existing barcode numbers you want to use, enter them in this field. If not, Charms will create them. Use the following codes to indicate the condition of your inventory items. New, excellent, good, fair, or poor. Use the following codes to indicate quality of your inventory items. H for high, A for average, and L for low. If you leave the quantity column blank, Charms will indicate 1 for the quantity. For the year purchased, you must use a 4-digit year code. Do not use dollar signs for any of the amount fields. For assigned to, include the student first and last name in separate columns so that Charms can match the information to a student in your system. When the Charms Inventory Template file is ready, make sure to save it with the original file name. If you change the file name, Charms will not be able to import it. Save the file as an Excel 97 to 2003 file type and remember where you have saved it. 
Next, you'll need to return to the Import Inventory File Wizard screen. Select the Browse button and navigate to the location of the Charms Inventory Template file. Select Open. Select Upload File. On the next screen, you can review the information that will be uploaded to Charms. If you have any red text or errors, you'll need to go back to the Excel file to correct the errors. Then return to the Import Inventory File Wizard screen and upload the file again. When the data is ready to import, scroll to the bottom of the screen and select Validate Inventory Data. This process can take some time if you have a number of inventory items. Do not click the Validate button twice. Wait for it to finish. On the next screen, you may need to review an unknown student name or other missing or bad information. When all of the data is ready, select Import Inventory Data. That's it. Now you've imported your inventory information. The last screen includes links to the inventory screens or reports. Note that you cannot replace this data by re-importing it. Any changes will need to be made in the CHARM system. However, you can import additional inventory at any time to add more items to your Charms inventory. Be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other Charms Office procedures.